Hello, and welcome to a video presentation on symmetry. Here's what you'll learn. How to identify symmetry in figures. Symmetry can make objects pleasing to the eye. If we draw a line through the middle of an object, and that line creates mirror images on both sides of your line, we say the figure has line symmetry. The line that creates the mirror images is called a line of symmetry. If you folded the figure in half at the line of symmetry, the lines, colors, and patterns on both sides should overlap. Some objects have only one line of symmetry, some have more than one line of symmetry, and some have no lines of symmetry at all. Figures that have no lines of symmetry are called asymmetrical. Let's take a look at an example. Does this figure have any lines of symmetry? And if so, let's draw them. The triangle shown is an isosceles triangle. Two sides are exactly the same length. Since two sides are the same length, we can draw one line of symmetry right down the middle to make mirror images on both sides of the line. So this figure has one line of symmetry. Does this figure have any lines of symmetry? If so, let's draw them. The triangle shown is an equilateral triangle. All three sides are the same length. Since all sides are the same length, we can draw three lines of symmetry that make mirror images on both sides of the lines. One line of symmetry would look like this, another would look like this, and the third would look like this. So this figure has three lines of symmetry. Does this figure have any lines of symmetry? And if so, draw them. The triangle shown is a scalene triangle. None of the sides are the same length. Since none of the sides are the same length, there's no way to divide this figure to make mirror images on both sides. This figure has no lines of symmetry. It is asymmetrical. Does this figure have any lines of symmetry? If so, let's draw them. Is this a line of symmetry? It may appear so because we cut the figure in half, but it really isn't. The images on both sides of the line are congruent. However, they aren't mirror images of each other. This isn't a line of symmetry either. And here's why. The points on either side won't line up with a corresponding point on the other side of our line. But this rectangle does have two lines of symmetry, a vertical one and a horizontal one. All rectangles, unless they're squares, have exactly two lines of symmetry. So this figure has two lines of symmetry. A square would have four lines of symmetry, a vertical line, a horizontal line, and the two diagonals through the corners. Does this figure have any lines of symmetry? If so, let's draw them. The only way we can divide this figure to have the same image on both sides of a line of symmetry is by cutting it at 45 degree angles, like this and this. So this figure has two lines of symmetry. Does the flag of Romania have any lines of symmetry? And if so, draw them. Since most flags are rectangles, any lines of symmetry can only be vertical or horizontal lines of symmetry. Also, when considering lines of symmetry, patterns and colors must match up in both halves. In this figure, the colors won't match on either side of a vertical line. So that's not a line of symmetry. However, a horizontal line of symmetry will work just fine. So this figure has one line of symmetry. Does the flag of the United States have any lines of symmetry? And if so, let's draw those. 
Since this flag is a rectangle, any lines of symmetry can only be vertical or horizontal lines of symmetry. Neither one of those would work on this flag. So this figure has no lines of symmetry. It is asymmetrical. Let's wrap up this discussion of symmetry by talking about rotational symmetry. Some figures have a special kind of symmetry called rotational symmetry. If you put your finger in the middle of a figure and rotate it so that all of the edges match up with the original figure before making one complete revolution, the figure is said to have rotational symmetry. The center point is called the center of rotation. If a rotated figure matches up with the original figure two times during one full rotation, it's said to have two-fold rotational symmetry. If a rotated figure matches up with the original figure five times during one full rotation, it's said to have five-fold rotational symmetry. A figure can never have rotational symmetry one time. To do so, it would not have any images that line up until it completed one full revolution. Now let's take a look at some examples. Does this figure exhibit rotational symmetry? And if so, how many times? Let's start by creating a duplicate of this figure with a colored dot on the top tip so we can track its rotation. Now let's overlap them and then we can rotate it and count the number of times the rotated image lines up with the original image in one full rotation. So let's rotate it. One time, two times, three times, four times. So this figure has fourfold rotational symmetry. Does this figure exhibit rotational symmetry? And if so, how many times? Let's place a dot at the top of the figure and count the number of alignments in one full rotation. Let's turn it one time, two times, three times. So this figure recreates itself three times in one rotation. That means the figure has threefold rotational symmetry. Congratulations! You've learned how to identify symmetry in figures.